Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we will see how to host a static website in Azure cloud that too completely free. Yes, you have heard it right. So in this video, we will see step by step process of uploading the static code to the Azure cloud and uh, also integrating a custom domain to your static website and that too completely free. So only payment you have to do is for your web domain name. So domain name, you can buy it for minimal price from Namecheap. So this video also, we are going to demonstrate a domain name that is being purchased from Namecheap. Now, if you are wondering what is a static website, then most static websites are written on HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Some of the basic example of static websites are fancy font generator, age calculator, and many more static websites are there which are generating a lot of uh, traffic and revenue as well. So let's go to my desktop screen and see how we can uh, host a static website in Azure cloud. So before you proceed further, you need few things needs to be completed. First thing you need a domain name. So in this example, I will use a domain name that I have purchased from uh, Namecheap. And uh, second thing you need uh, a Microsoft Azure account. So the sign up process is very much uh, simple. So just log in to portal.azure.com and uh, complete the sign up process. If you don't want to do sign up, then it also allows you to log in through your Gmail account. So complete the sign up process. And once you complete the sign up process, log in again. But before that, you also need a GitHub account. So in GitHub account, you will have to push all your code that you have written, or you can just simply upload it to the GitHub. So in GitHub, you just have to create a repository and under that repository, you have to push all your code. So for example, accent compare, this is the code that we are going to use in this video. I already have uh, pushed all my code to this. And one thing you may notice here is that uh, everything here is written on HTML. Along with the HTML files, I also have uh, some uh, images. So long story short, your website should have only static pages. So once you have all these details, then log in again to your Azure portal. And first thing you will have to search static uh, web apps and uh, the option will be appear here. Click on that. Now create, create static web app. Azure subscription, you'll have to select uh, the default subscription or if you, if you have created a new subscription, then you can mention that. Create a resource group. Click on this create new. So I will give a name web app click on OK and the resource group will be selected. So these are the mandatory process. So once you create the resource group, then you have to give a name to your web app. I will simply give it a web app and then hosting plan. So hosting plan, keep it as it is free for hobby or personal project. So free means it will allow you to host two static website. I believe two or three but uh, I, be I believe two is the one uh, more than that if you want then you will have to select a standard uh, option here now proceed further select a region here central us you may select a region which is nearer to your main target audience or to your nearest location i will keep it central us and then source is github now that is the reason i mentioned you have to push all your code to github or simply upload all of the code to your github repository so we will select GitHub here and now we'll have to authenticate the GitHub account. So here, let me click on change account. But in your case, you will find connect option if you have not uh, connected your GitHub account to Azure portal. So let me just click on that and it will open a new page where you'll have to click on authorize Azure app. Click on this button and here you will have to type your password. So once you type your password, click on confirm here and then you will be redirected back to this page. Once that is done here, you will be able to see three options. So these are the options that is appearing from your GitHub account. So let me just uh, select the organization and repository accent compare because that is the static uh, content we have branch uh, master. So this depends upon your situation. If you have any other branch, select that now build the details keep it as it is now preview workflow file 
So this file basically contains the YAML file. This is not uh, very much important for uh, you guys, but uh, you can review them and see what is going to happen in the backend. So we'll also have to modify a, we'll also have to add a line here. So below this output uh, location, so this is basically a read only file. So I am not able to modify it. But if the error happens that I usually get in when I deploy a static website, we will we'll resolve that and we will edit that line. So for now, just uh, close it and then review plus create. So it will start creating. It will take a couple of minutes because in backend uh, it does many things. So now it is asking to create. So let's uh, click on that. And here you can see the deployment has started. So in backend, it will basically pull all the information from your GitHub or it will pull the code that you have uploaded in the GitHub and start deploying it, the static website. So you can see here your deployment is completed. Let's go to resource by clicking go to resource. So here you will be able to see the browse option. But here there is a question information button here thank you for using azure static web apps we have not received any content from your site yet so i believe the error that i was uh, talking about has happened so in order to resolve that issue for you have to go to your uh, azure repo and uh, here you can click on this dot github slash workflows and here you will be able to see multiple files but you have to select uh, the files that is recent so here you can see four minutes ago so this is the file that we have to edit click on that and if we'll go a little bit down under the task section that is uh, build and deploy there will be a line which says output underscore location just below that we have to add a line so in order to add the line just click on this edit this file option again go back to to that particular section that is output location and then hit enter and here you will have to give a option skip underscore app underscore build colon true so once you paste this particular line you can go to top and commit changes here and click on commit changes so now the file has been modified now in your web app portal in azure portal automatically the changes will be detected and the deployment will start again so if you want to see the process then again click on github action run and you can see the process has been started so just wait for these process to complete and once that is done your website will be up so you can see a green tick mark has appeared here it means the website has been uh, deployed now go back to your web app portal just refresh this page you can click on this browse option and you will be able to see the static website. So here is the website URL, but we don't want this URL. We want the custom domain should appear here. So how we can add that custom domain? We'll check now. So now what we'll have to go to your web app section and click on custom domains. Meanwhile, you can go to your domain provider, copy the domain name. So let me just copy my domain name. And then here we can click on the option custom domain on other DNS. And here we'll have to give the domain name, but uh, we have to give domain name with www. So don't worry, later section, we will also see how we can add the root domain as well. So now click on uh, next. Now here it has uh, given the option that uh, we have to create a CNAME entry with our domain provider. So copy this uh, value which is nothing but the site URL, go back to your domain provider. And here you will have to create a CNAME entry. So as I'm using Namecheap, so the console may be different. But in your case, if you are using any other domain provider, you will have to find out the section where you can create the CNAME entry. For me, here is the section and here I can create a add new record. And I will have to create a CNAME record. So just uh, I have selected that. Now www and the target is the URL that we have copied. Now we'll have to save the changes. So this has been done. So it will take around five to 10 minutes to reflect uh, the DNS record. So meanwhile, what you can do, you can also try to open the website. So here, let me just type it www.easydomains.xyz. 
because that is my domain name let me modify the spelling mistakes here and uh, it has not yet started because uh, at backend it will still running or I believe we have not added it here so let me just add it and you, you will be able to see the adding options here now this as validation is failed because the reflection has not yet started you can try later after some time and it happens automatically so i have uh, clicked add button once again and it's still in progress so let me just uh, stop this uh, recording for a minute and once that is complete i will come back again so it took around 15 minutes but uh, now the status is validated we can click uh, close here and here you will be able to see the custom domain name so try to refresh this uh, page and uh, now go to overview and click on browse so website is still not available you will have to wait for some time but uh, whether the changes has been happened correctly or not in order to see that you can also do a cname lookup and here you will have to provide your domain name here i have provided www easydomains.xyz and click on CNAME lookup. So if this option is giving, then the CNAME has uh, successfully created. It's just that your browser is not able to detect it. But you can try to access that from a incognito mode or from some other device and it should work. For some reason, if it is still not working, then let's complete the process and then see if uh, it works or not. So again, go to custom domain name and uh, now we'll have to verify our ownership to this uh, domain name. So again, click on add here, click on custom domain on and here again, paste your domain name. But this time do not provide www, just provide the root domain name and click on next and here we'll have to first do the ownership uh, validation for that uh, click the generate code here and it will take a couple of uh, minutes or probably seconds to generate the code now copy this uh, code and go to your domain name provider create a new record and uh, now select txt record and uh, under host type at the red symbol which uh, indicates that we are doing this record for the root domain and uh, the value you paste it that you have copied it from the Azure portal. Now click on save changes. Now we will go back to the Azure portal. You will still be seeing the validating status, but still it will take some time. If you want, you can close it and proceed further. That And that is to create CNAME record for the root domain so let's just close that and uh, here you can see option called add a cname alias or a record so just click on that and here it, it is saying to create a alias name but we'll create a cname record here just click on this uh, value and go back to your domain name provider create another record but this time select again cname record give uh, at the rate under host and and the target you just paste the value that you have copied it and click on save changes. Now again, these changes will take some time to reflect. So don't worry, wait for a couple of minutes and then again, try to access your website. So let me just refresh it and see the latest status. You can click on view details also. So here it is validating. You can keep refreshing to see the latest status, but that is not needed. Now let's try to see again the status by going to overview. And here let's uh, click on uh, browse and uh, with www still it is not reflecting, but let's try to access it without www. That is only root domain. And uh, here it's showing privacy error. So it means the web site is accessible but uh, the SSL certification installation is in progress so wait again for some time and uh, try again or you can just uh, go back to your web app page and uh, check the status here once it turns to validated then you can try again so it definitely takes some time so let me just wait a few more minutes and then see the status i know it's kind of frustrating but uh, the cname entries works in that way so we don't have any control over it or we cannot expedite that as well so we'll have to wait and uh, watch to see when the process is uh, getting completed 
So now the status has been changed to validated. So it's been around 20 minutes, I suppose. And after that, this uh, green check has uh, came up. Now let's try to access this particular website in a different uh, tab and see if it is working or not. So the www dot is still not working, but let's see without www whether it's working or not. So yes, it's working. So wait for a few more couple of minutes to and uh, uh, try with uh, www subdomain and it should start working. So that's all for this video. Hope you have liked this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that uh, whatever new video I upload in my channel, you will get a notification immediately.